Verse number 12. This is what he's saying. Because he's talking to us. I didn't say he talked to you. I said he talked to us. Deuteronomy 17, 12. And the man who acts arrogantly so as not to listen to the priest who stands to serve there before Yahweh or the judge, that man will die. Ooh. That's scary right there. Huh? The father to put a man here to tell you and you're not listening to him? You're going to die. That's serious. And people don't really take, well, that's the Old Testament there. We don't have to worry about that no more. Okay. That, but that's what people say. That was 1712, wasn't it? That man will die. So you will purge the evil from Israel. If one person see that person die, they're going to say, who? I'm going to get right. I'm going to get there. <laughs> 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 what did you say to do? <laughs> they're going to be closing doors, picking up paper, everything else. Ooh, uh, 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 he didn't tell you to do that yet, but I know it needs to be done. I'm going to pick it up. See, but we don't, we don't believe. Y'all yeah, excuse me now. I'm talking to us. When I say us, I'm talking to people on TV. I'm talking to people watching us by the internet. I'm talking to people listening by radio. Yeah. He is talking to us. Yeah. We don't believe like we say we believe. Yeah. When I put my hands on Sister Darren's throat and she sung, I believed that she was going to be able to sing. The father even told me to tell her how to do it. Start off softly and use what he gave you. Yeah. Did not she sing that song? Yeah. See, we gotta we gotta obey him as if we believe him. Yes, but if you don't believe him, don't try to put on. Just say, like Thomas said, I will not believe until I see it. Because that's what Thomas said, right? Yeah. And Messiah came back and said, Blessed is he that believes without sin. Without sin. That's right. But you got to work your way up from unbelief right. to belief. Yes. Yes. We didn't transition overnight. Yes. It took me a while because, you know, Brother Roland, when I used to go to hospitals and, and, and the prayer room, you know, I'd get over there people, Well, oh, Father, Please help him right now to get up out of that bed. Please, sir, and I have mercy. Mm -hmm. I used to pray like that. And the father said, mm -hmm. I didn't tell you to do it like that. Do it like my son showed you how to do it. So I go in the room tonight and I say, uh, uh, Do you have faith to believe? Yes, sir. You believe that uh, he can get you out of that bed? Yes, sir. I say, Well, in his name, get up. That's what I did. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that lady that just waited for me and said, see that lady next door to me? She was, she was supposed to do something the next morning. I forget what it was. But she needed prayer right then. So I pulled the curtain back and I said, ma'am, can I pray with you? Yes, yeah, sir. I prayed the next morning the answer came. Hallelujah. And it was good. Where she thought it was going to be bad. Yeah. I didn't even know that lady. Yeah, that's right. You understand what I'm saying? But she lived. Yeah. And she came out of the hospital. Yeah. Because I said she was. Well, Brother Isaac, you're acting kind of presumptuous. No, I'm not. I'm doing what my master taught me. He said, y'all listen to me, right? He said, you will have what you say. How many of y'all believe that? Hallelujah. Then why don't you start saying some stuff? Yes, indeed. Hallelujah. It might not come overnight. Yeah. But you don't have what you say. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard, I heard Sister Nova one day. I'm just trying to give you some examples that we are living in the days of faith right now. We don't have to go to Hebrews chapter 11. We got stuff happening right now that we can reflect on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
she, I, she, she was leaning over talking to somebody on the other side of the room, and I heard her say somebody, she can't wait to become a grandmother. Yeah. And the father spoke in my spirit and told me to tell her, you're going to become a grandmother soon. So I put my hand on her, I said, Sister no. She said, what? I, I said, you get, you get ready to become a grandmother. She said, I received that. And Brother Greg was coming around the corner when I said that. He said, what did you say? I said, come on over here, Grandpa. Come over here. One long after that, Sister Christian walked in here, and she told her mom and daddy by surprise, you're getting ready to be a granddaughter. The scripture says, a man of God, speak a word that don't come to pass, don't worry about him. But if he speak a word that comes to pass, you need to have some fear in your heart. Not for him, but for the one that's in him. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying to you? That ain't the first time. That ain't gonna be the last time. There's gonna be some things happening up in here, and y'all gonna say, ooh. Don't say ooh. Just shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've seen I've seen too much, I know too much about him to die. Let me get back to this. Let me get back to this. Y'all come up with me. Y'all ready to go with me? Uh, that was Deuteronomy. 17, 12. Let's go to Deuteronomy 18. <coughs> now you notice I'm staying mostly in Torah. Because I want you to understand that the Messiah told somebody talking to him, he said, y'all teach Moshe every Sabbath. Yeah. Every Sabbath. Y'all digging into Moshe's yeah. right. And y'all don't know that he's talking about me. Come on. So since he is in us, yes. Yes, he's talking about us. Because yeah. our life is supposed to emulate his. Yes, yes, Isn't that right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. 1820. He said, but the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, even that prophet will die. Is that serious enough? Yes. And when you say in your heart, how do we know that the word which Yah has not spoken? He said, when the prophet speaks in the name of Yah and the word is not or comes not, that is the word that Yah has not spoken. The prophet has spoken presumptuously. Do not be afraid of that prophet. No matter what he said, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> it There's some things that I spoke in the past that made me scared to speak certain things these days. Because I've seen people actually die. Are y'all hearing me? And I'm not going to get into that, but it was some men and there were some women who left this earth because they went against Almighty God. It ain't no joke. So you're looking at a scared man right now. I'm scared straight. I'm going to say that one more time. Somebody didn't get it. I'm scared straight. Because I know what he said he's going to do, he's going to do. And what, he, what he's giving you power to do, you can do. He said these things that I do, you can do. And even greater. But we haven't even followed the first part to get to the greater. Yes. Y'all y'all getting quiet on y'all getting hungry? Y'all getting hungry? <laughs> Keep looking for the man of the fall. Uh -huh. yeah. But he didn't give us the spirit of fear. Getting it right now, so we'd be scared straight. Hallelujah. Well, you're scared straight is because you have the spirit of knowledge to know that yeah. he'll do what he said he can do. Yes. If that don't scare you, you got a problem. That makes you get the spirit of that right. That's right. Once you understand, you open that can of act right, you eat all of it. Huh? I don't need a can of it, it tastes good too. But it makes you act right. Do right, and all the other rights. Psalms 19, verse 13. Come on, go with me. We're almost done in a little while. Paul preached till midnight and you need to fill out the window. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go till midnight, though. 
Ninety. 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 You know, when you just bust out that woman to do your thing. Yeah. He's saying, Father, keep me back from that. Anybody ever done that before? Yeah. Got, got a thought in your mind that you're going to do this and you did, you did it? Yeah. Well, that's what I did. I got some thoughts in my mind one time. I said, I'm going to do this. And did it. But after I went through all of that hell, I said, now nah, I say, when that thought came in my mind, I'm going to do this. And, no, you're not. No right. problem. <laughs> and you can't do it without me. I'm talking to the one who in me. You can't do anything without me, partner. I'm your hands, I'm your feet, I'm your mouth to speak, I'm everything to you. I'm your eyes that you see with. I'm your ears that you hear with. And you telling me to go, no, I'm not. And without my body, you can't do nothing but think. And I'm going to kill you in my thought processes. According to the book of James. I'm going to kill it before it, it becomes a sin. Yeah, right. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. Because I know I'm giving you some good news. Uh -huh. yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Good news. Praise uh, Almighty. Yeah. Praise Let's go to the book of Hebrews. 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 Chapter 10. Hebrews chapter 10. Everybody ought to know. <laughs> Hebrews. <laughs> Hebrews. Just, everybody ought to know that. Chapter 10. Now this family knows. Hebrews. Hebrew. I know Hebrews. Hebrew. Chapter 10. Well, see, he, he sounded like that preacher who said, I know his name is Yahweh, but we call him God. Mm -hmm. No, it's time to grow up. Uh -huh. Hebrews, the real name is Hebrew. We've been taught that his name is Hebrews. Yeah, but the Hebrew. true name, and I want the truth. Okay. So pardon me while I say Hebrew. I got some translators in here who will tell you what it means. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hebrew. But Hebrews chapter 10, verse number 26. Hebrew. For if we sin purposely, y'all see that? Yeah. After we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice, no sacrifice. for sin. Only one thing you can look forward to, which is the fearful anticipation of judgment, judgment. and a fierce fear. fire, which is about fire. to consume the opponents or the adversary. Yeah. Willful sin is dangerous. Right. Willful. Now, this is where Brother Isaac is. Every sin we commit is willful. Yeah. Unless we just stone ignorant about something. Uh -huh. But other than that, every sin we commit starts right here. It's true. That's what the Messiah taught me. Yeah. It starts right here. And if we can kill it here, we're okay. Yeah. But you got to kill it here. Because I'm going to tell you what, even a lie before it comes out of your mouth, it starts in your mind. Yeah. Everything starts in your mind. Yeah. You heard it said, thou shalt not commit adultery. Well, I'm trying to get you to understand what that means. I'm going to give you the full of it. If you look at her with lust in your heart. You have already done it. So where you got to kill it at? 